Hello everybody, it's Joe here, and welcome back to OMSI 2. Today we are back on Arcala. I've been wanting to do this route for quite a while in this absolutely gorgeous bus. We're on the B7 hourly, or we're in the B7 hourly Eclipse 2, and we're going to be taking a run on the Route 64 through from Pendle Station right the way through to Stockton Road. Uh, now the bus that we're using, SN60 EOD, that's probably the reg of an Eclipse 2. Uh, it just gives you a random reg. And uh, the Olympia livery we're using is by Miles, part of uh, a first repaint pack perhaps. It's got this absolutely gorgeous uh, first group interior here. We're using the Euro 5 variant of the Eclipse today with the ZF gearbox because personally it's my favourite to drive out of all of the Valent pack. So we'll get the bus started up and uh, ready to go. Where are we going, we're on a, uh, oh no, it's not doing it right, okay. Do we actually have to type the destination in? I don't know. What you've obviously got to remember is our car that is still a beta map, so all these little things like destinations and codes on the wall there, uh, they will all be sorted by that. Will probably all be sorted. Uh, when it comes to release. The destination looking absolutely gorgeous there. I mean, to be fair, Fully is part of Master Switch, so I would imagine that these destinations uh, would have been perfect. I didn't doubt for a second uh, that they would be well suited to the bus. We'll get that window shut, get that one shut as well, because obviously it does spawn with a random selection of windows open, which is not great for keeping the heat in, it has to be said. Right, we'll get those blowers on as well, because uh, it's flipping cold. Well, it's 15 degrees, so I guess for England that's pretty warm, isn't it, really? Right, we'll pull round onto the stand. And uh, before they all start yelling at us, we will get logged into our ticket machine. 3922. Yeah, we'll have that one, that one, and we're all good. We're all good. All good. Right, we'll let the, uh, the hordes on, all two of them. It has to be said, since uh, playing Bus Company Simulator, I cannot wait to uh, for the release of Arcala and for it to be incorporated into Bus Company Simulator, which I'm sure it will be. Um, the amount of fun that we had last night on the live stream. What live stream last night, Joe? Yeah, I'm recording these quite a while in advance. Um, <laughs> like, I know the live stream was over a week ago, but uh, yeah, when I'm recording this, the live stream was last night. That's uh, that's how far in advance I'm currently recording these videos. Um, that's due to the fact that in a few days... No, hang on, I think at this moment when I'm... When, when the video goes out, I think I will actually be on holiday. Uh, we go away for our summer holidays for two weeks, so um, yeah, we're uh, I'm having to do some of these in absolute bulk because I don't want there to be a break in the schedule while I'm away, you know, because it's not fair on you guys, you know, that keep turning up all day, every day to, uh, to support my channel, so I want to make sure that there's still plenty of content while I'm away. But uh, yeah, so um, let's have a look. Oh, we're, uh, we're ready to go. Are we ready to go? Nobody else is coming, are they? It's a shame that this... Uh, oh, hang on, why why can't we see our bus through the railings? That's because that's probably a texture, isn't it, on there? Now you see me, now you don't. Uh, yeah, it's a shame that this particular repaint has the set bar where the, the mirror's there. I know that a lot of these first ones have uh, dangly mirrors. Right, off we go. Oh, I am looking forward to this. I really am, it's going to be such a great drive. I'm surprised, given the amount of talking I did last night, that I've not lost my voice with the amount of uh, amount of talking. It got to the point we did end the live stream. Oh, hang on, can we get out of here without? Uh, oh. There we go. Yeah, it got to the point where I had to finish the live stream a little bit earlier than I'd have liked. I mean, hell, we still nearly did three hours, you know. So we we didn't quit early by any stretch of the imagination, but. Um, <laughs> yeah, I had to quit after nearly three hours because I could barely speak anymore. I was uh, I was getting a really, really sore throat just through continual talking. Which, uh, anyone who's watched my videos must be like, hang on, Joe. I thought that was, like, literally what you did. Hang on, where do we go here? Do, do we go left? I've completely... Do you know, it's that long since I've driven this route. It's actually quite shameful how long it is since I've driven this route given how I always bang on about how much of a great map it is. And you know what? It is a great map. It really is. Fully did pop into the stream 
and, uh, and was saying, oh, how many times has Joe driven up and down West Country this week? I know. I'm sorry, darling. I'm back on your route. I'm back on your map. I promise I won't stray away again for so long. But get your map on Bus Company Sim. <laughs> I guess it can't be on Bus Company Sim until it's released, can it? Because then otherwise everyone would have it. I, d I don't really know how it works on getting your map into Bus Company Sim. But uh, yeah, it's it, I can't wait because it's going to be great. There's so many routes that are available to drive. You'll be flying past everybody. That'd be great on an event, wouldn't it? Although, to be fair, the length of time, the event would have to be quite a while, given it takes about an hour and ten minutes end-to-end, -end, is it? Yeah, it would have to be a fairly long event. Oh, look at that. Tell you what, we're going uh, to have a, a, a picture of the... Uh, I apologise, uh, I think someone's cutting the lawn outside. Cutting the grass. Makes me sound like we have a big garden, doesn't it? So they're cutting the lawn... I don't think it's our lawn. Uh, th there is lawn being cut outside. That's lovely, isn't it? That's absolutely beautiful. This bus is so good. It really is. I know when I first drove the BA RLE, when that first came out, Yorkshire Counties, I did a video on... Um, oh, what's happened? I thought we'd lost Omsi for a second there. Yeah, I did a video on uh, Arcala with the B8 the full route and there was a lot of oohs and ahs and uh, fully actually very kindly edited it so that there was a lot of me going ooh and ah uh, but this bus is just so much better than the B8 purely because I like the B7s the B8s I've never really been on one in fact I don't think I have been on one not in the UK anyway been on one uh, in Madeira Madeira's brilliant for buses you should absolutely make a point of trying to get there at some point uh, soon because they've got B10Ms B9Ms there's all sorts of old shagged out things on the island but um, yeah if you're a bus spotter I'd absolutely make a point of trying to get there bus spotters paradise that's what it is Pendle Marketplace oh they've added a Mercedes Turismo coach I think that was there in the last nothing new has come out since uh, since we last drove this or I don't think it has anyway Day rider love, yeah, thank you. You'd be able to make some right cash on this on bus company sim, wouldn't you? I need to stop going on about bus company sim. <laughs> After all those many, many, many months of saying, oh, it's crap, I'm not playing it. And now I'm a little bit of an addict. I really, really am. I really need to, um, yeah, I'm sorry Macaulay, if you did, I, I don't actually know if, um, I don't know the outcome of the question I asked you earlier, but obviously we probably will by the time this comes out. Uh, I did actually ask Macaulay this morning, can you possibly send me the uh, the Arcala Greenline livery for, uh, for this B7 so that I could drive it, you know, this route in the proper Arcala livery? And uh, he didn't get back to me in time for the recording, so this is why we're using the first Olympia livery. And uh, so by the time this actually goes out a week on Saturday, um, it was like, Joe, you asked for that livery. Why didn't you use it? Yeah, that's that's because we recorded so far in advance. I don't generally, why are you there, sir? Why why don't you just, why don't you just stay on the curb and I'll pick you up from the curb? Hang on. There we go. Bit of kneeling. Could really do with setting a key binding up for that. Hello. Oh, you want a day rider. Right, okay. Well, I can just about manage that. There we go. Back up. Sensational. Uh, yeah, the, the, I don't tend to like recording so far in advance. Again, purely and simply because you really lose track of where you are. And you start saying things like talking about yesterday's video and yesterday's stream, for instance. When actually, it was weeks ago. So yeah, that's why we haven't had... Um, or we might have even had another live stream. I don't know. I don't know where I'm up to. I really don't know where I'm up to. Um, we might have done another live stream in between. I don't know. I did enjoy it though. And uh, and we had a really, really good turnout. So I might consider doing that. Oh, hang on. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I not give you your ticket? I didn't give you a pound. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Absolutely tried to rob him. Oh, that made me jump when I turned around and saw him there. There we go. Pound change. Sorry, I was focusing on... Uh, 
adjusting the bus so that we won't melt anymore. Oh, this bus is just so good, isn't it? It really is. <laughs> I'm just going to keep saying that throughout the whole video. It fits this map really, really well, actually. It really does fit this map well. I uh, oh, I was asking Miles if uh, he could perhaps conjure up like a Green Line branding. You know, like first used to have the, the root brandings on their Olympia liveries. Or Barbie, like Overground. It's like, can you make me a 63 and 64 branding for, uh, for our Carla so I can go into the AI list and replace every bus. Get rid of this Green Line nonsense and uh, replace them all with first group branding. And uh, it has to be said, <laughs> he, uh, he, he seems to set me up on it. I don't know how fully we'll react though if he sees that I've absolutely decimated his, uh, absolutely decimated his AI listing uh, completely. Although, to be honest with you, it, I'm a little bit scared. I'm a little bit nervous about placing uh, a load of B sedans down again because last time, you know what happened on West Country, where we ended up with the absolute army of them, hundreds of them all next to each other. Oh, hang on, let's, uh, let's just stop there. Are you getting on this bus, sir? Yes, you are. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Uh, nine pounds, yeah, thank you very much. Lovely. There's a lot of day riders going for sale today, isn't there? Oh, hang on. About to absolutely lose this front end on a BMW. Off we go. into Crest Hill Village. I love this area of the map, I really do. I like the little bus station. It's um, it's a really nice bus station and I like the fact that you drive in, do a little lap and come back out again. That's brilliant. It really, really is nice. There's so many... I mean, this hasn't even had an update and I'm telling you about all the features I love. If you've watched my Arcala videos before, you'll know how much I love this map. You really will. I'm, I'm overjoyed at the fact that Fully has decided to make it a payware map because... Uh, I think originally it was meant to be a freeware map, like he'd done it with freeware in mind and uh, I'm really really glad that, I mean I, I don't, I'm not going to say I convinced him to do that, oh hang on what's, what's happening, because he's probably already thought about it, you know he's probably already thought about payware but I, I, you know I told him how good it is, you know, like this is brilliant love, really really is brilliant so uh, I hope I helped. I'm sure that many other people told him as well, but I would like to think I helped in influencing him. Because the amount of hours that you can clearly tell has been put into this map. Hours, days, weeks, months. It really, really is uh, is worth pay where. I'd pay for it. I am going to pay for it. When it eventually comes out. As well, it's coming with uh, some exciting BARLE contraption. Uh, a, uh, oh, hang on, what's happening here? Got a red uh, red light. Yeah, it's coming out with some MCV Evora. That's obviously been announced since we last. Is this guy just walking across the crossing? He's got a death wish, honey. I'll oh, keep in this lane here. Oh, this lane appears to disappear. <laughs> oh dear. Right, we've got to remember here that we're following signs for the 64, not the 63 today. Oh yeah, I remember whinging about this. There's no traffic light over here. We'll have to nip out. Oh, it's over there. Oh, I can't see it. Oh, it's there. Right, there we go. Oh, it's just in the little, the little crevice there. That'll do. I think they're together. I hope they're together, otherwise we could be sat here a little while. Oh, there's a Bella Italia over there. A curry and bar. Doesn't sound like the sort of establishment I'd frequent, it has to be said. We're running late now, we're a minute late. Come on, lights. Oh, there we go. The second I turn, uh, the second I move outside. Bus lane. The bus lane that everyone is always parked in. I'm sure they shouldn't be allowed to do that. 
They get on your wick, don't they? Right, we'll move across into this lane because I think this is the lane. I think... Uh, oh no, hang on, 64. We're following the 64. Turn right, flipping Nora. I don't know. Right, we'll get that indicator back on. And, uh, <laughs> and there, all the way around there, right, we've got to remember we're following the 64. We've got to remember we're following the 64. And then, uh, where does Joe go? He goes towards the 63. Right, off we go. Right, round the corner. So I prefer the 64 to the 63. Yeah, there you go. That's uh, that's a bold statement, but I said it. I do. Um, the 64 was the first Arcala route that I drove. That I dro drive. <laughs> Can't even speak this morning. Uh, the first Arcala route that I drove, if you remember, back in the day, because Fully specifically spoke to me and said, I'd like you to drive the 63, because there's a lot more scenery done uh, than on the 64. And uh, so I drove the 64. Yeah, I've, I've had a bit of a soft spot for this 64 route since then. I mean, I'm not going to say that I'm deliberately disobedient, but, you know, we, we've got to look at... I, I thought everyone is going to be... Because he told everyone to drive the 63, I thought, you know, there'll be loads of YouTube videos going on, left, right and centre, of people driving the 63. So you know what? I'm going to be a bit different. I'm going to drive the 64. I got a message. I just got a... Joseph! <laughs> what did I tell you? <laughs> oh dear. And the 63 still has more scenery complete than the 64, but hey ho. Oh, oh, there's a town that's appeared in front. Flipping heck. You just hate those towns that leap out at you. I still do find these reflections on the uh, the windscreen of the veiling a little bit distracting. I don't know if they could be made a little bit more transparent. That's ideally what I would like to happen. Again, by the time this goes out, it might have happened. But uh, oh, bus stop on corner. Well, we shall be careful. I mean, I'd say my ultimate life goals at the moment were to learn the 63 and 64 off by heart. I can just about manage from the, uh, you know, the little section, from the, or the short route section. I can just about manage on them. £2.50, thank you, sir. £5.50, six, six, lovely, thank you. Yeah, where's it going now? Uh, Oxenden, that's the one. Oh, we're going in front of you. nip through these. I know it's a solid white line but we probably won't be able to get into the bus stop even if we uh, if we don't do it that way. Right, £9. Thank you. You have to have a lot of pound coins in reserve, don't you, here? Thank you, sir. Cheers. Right, we need to go. I'm glad they're giving way. We're late. Can't be doing. We've been late. I think we can only go left here, can't we? So there's no point indicating. I think... Oh, it's... Yeah, we join back up with the 63 here, don't we? I remember. There's some flipping long routes, isn't there, coming out for Omsi? Um, I mean, of course, Gainsborough came out. That's got the uh, the 100 on now. I would like to think eventually he might extend that 100 all the way through to uh, to Scunthorpe. Could you imagine if he could link the two maps together? I mean, that would be a hell of a map, wouldn't it? You're able to drive the 100 all the way from Lincoln to Scunthorpe. I mean, it'd be a long route, wouldn't it? 
the um, of course Arcala with it being paid where there's going to be some more routes available there's going to be a 99 it's going to be a six possibly I don't know I've not got the list in front of me so I'm just go I'm just rattling off from memory of routes that I have seen on AI routes uh, around the city centre so yeah there's going to be a 99 I know that much um, but yeah there's going to be a couple of other routes and I've seen the route map it's looking really really nice looking really nice there's going to be an X route of some sort there's going to be some other bits and pieces but uh, yeah the whole finished product I think is going to be really really fantastic I mean I'd go out on a limb here for the whole route bearing in mind it's got buses coming as well I would pay $24.99 for it I'm thinking the price of a train sim add on here where the route is um, the route is included with the, the train as well I'd pay $24.99 for this add-on. I know add-on London's not far off that. That was, what, 22 quid? And this is arguably a damn sight better than London. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. We're not kneeling because I'm too late. Yeah, the, the later we are, the worse the customer service gets on, uh, on our buses, unfortunately. £9, thank you, sir. I know that later we have an obscene amount of time at Chester Stanmore. Uh, waiting so I'm not particularly that worried at this moment in time what we do need uh, Mr. Fully to do however is change the ticket prices because they're a little bit too easy one thing I quite enjoy with the uh, with the whole ticketing thing on OMSI is a little bit of mental maths you know we could do with things being like a single ticket being two pound and seventeen pence I know that he did say however um, that there will be a lot less ticketing in the actual thing, there'd be like a smart card that the majority of people would tap. So actually, in the finished product, you will have a much uh, smaller percentage of people actually buying tickets, which is a bit of a shame, actually. It's a shame if you're playing Bus Company Simulator. No, nope, stop it. Stop mentioning Bus Company Simulator. It has no place in this stream. Oh, yeah, that's... Flipping idiot. Oh no, just because you work for the NHS doesn't mean you could crash into me. Right, well, well uh, let's just pretend that didn't happen. Maybe that car pulled out because there was an ambulance behind him. Okay. Well, if you'd have had your bleepy bleepers on, your Nino Ninos, I'd have, uh, I'd have heard, wouldn't I? And I'd have stopped. Yeah, I want you to make like the single ticket two pound and seventeen pence, just to really, really flummox people. When if somebody wants a single ticket, they're like, um, really, really. I mean, you know, I, the idea of breaking people playing this map uh, really does amuse. Right, where are we going now? I thought I thought we went. Oh no, we don't go straight on here. That happens later. Possibly. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Six bells end. Oh, that makes me laugh every time. It's going to have to rein it in a little bit with the whole PC-ness, isn't it, if we're selling this product. That is a downside. Uh, you know, there's a lot of little things that make me chuckle about this. And I just don't know how I'll be able to cope without, uh, you know, without that amusement level. I like the Crest Hill Post Office. That is lovely. That, um, that like, plaque above the door. Just everything here, it's, it's just such an idyllic, idyllic, like, little place, isn't it, really? Well, I wonder if we can... Oh, yeah, Crest Hill, I think. Does the 99 go there? Does it terminate there? I think, maybe, possibly. Um, I don't know if I'm going to try and go, go for a drive on the 99. Because you can actually spawn at each end of the route. I might, like, see if I can get a route map off it. And we'll just drive on what is available. It'll probably say no, though. Ah, this is where we go straight across the crossroads. Right, nobody's coming. Nobody's coming. Oh, that would be a curb. Yeah, this is where I get her. You are driving so badly that passengers wish to leave your bus. There's not an awful lot of traffic on the road today, is there? Sorry, sir. I realise we nearly went whizzing past you there. 
Oh wow, you've actually got a smart card. That's alright. Oh, there's another one coming the other way. Hello. I don't remember this. Was this always here? Yes, of course it was. We've, we've driven this before. Another reason that we haven't driven our Carla in so long is uh, Mr. Fully did ask me to have a look at doing some timetables. And what I eventually did was completely decimated the whole timetable. Like, literally, we are talking decimated. Um, and forgot to back up the original. And, uh, yeah, had no timetable. So that should have been like a... Oh, no, hang on. Oh, Madeline Road. Beep if it's still here. Yeah, that's that's another joke that might have to uh, that might have to be taken out. I can't imagine Aerosoft having much of a sense of humour uh, regarding things like that. Although Aerosoft might not even know. <laughs> Knowing Aerosoft, they probably won't even get the joke at all. They won't even see the. Uh... Oh dear. Right, let's have a look. So we are at... Where are we now? Oh, the next the next stop's Chester Stanmore. Oh, uh, we've got... Yeah, we've got a really, really long section of route now. So this is Techno Green, is it? Uh, there was a sign back there saying, Welcome to Techno Green. This is nice. I bet that on the corner is a really lovely country pub. I mean, to be fair, it's all lovely, isn't it, around here? It's all just delightful. Oh, there's our Teresa in uh, Field of Wheat. You know what, compared to the absolute uh, disaster of a government we currently have in, I think a, a lot of us would give anything to have our Teresa back, wouldn't you? She seemed so terrible at the time, but little did we know. Right, off we go. See, this all seems completely different since the last time I drove down here. This might have something to do with the fact that... Uh, I've installed Fully's graphics mod, which makes everything look like your eyes are bathed in sugar. Don't get me wrong, I quite like it. It makes every it like really turns the contrast up. Oh, that'll be a bit of curb. Oh, and there'll be a bit more in a minute. Oh no, you managed to avoid the second wheel clout. It's like flipping pinball with the see if you can get them all on your way through. Round we go. Come on. Oh, there we go. Slipped again for a second. Oh, it's busy. Yeah, these are meant to be double deckers, so I apologise that uh, that we've sent a single decker for you today. I can only imagine that's very similar to how uh, when you're meant to have a double set on the trains and only a single set turns up. This is how passengers feel. You know, their the heart sinks a little bit when they see a single decker come around the corner. I'd like to apologise on behalf of my organisation for uh, for us sending a single decker for you today. Oh. Why is Foster Road not in use? I want to know. That bus stop's not been in use since the beginning and I want to know why it's not in use. What's Foster Road ever done? Give them away. Oh no, hang on, they're the competition. Has a bus stop been taken out then? I'm sure there used to be a bus stop at the bottom of the Rumford and District, Raddington. There is also a. Uh, oh, hang on, let's just be careful not to clout us back wheel on the roundabout. There we go, round we go. Yeah, there used to be a bus stop here, didn't there? I think there is going the other way, but there isn't going this way. Hey, you've got a long walk back if you want to get off going, if you want to go there. Yeah, Mr. Sterling is uh, is making a map, I believe. You'll see uh, various signposts to Stoughton. Uh, he's currently making that map as well. That's another one that looks absolutely brilliant. I wonder if he'll end up selling that. I mean, if it's the quality of our Carla, then I would absolutely definitely suggest that he does. 
I hear it's meant to be based, I mean, this is just from hearsay, I hear it's meant to be based, like, kind of around Manchester-y, bolton -y area, because I believe that's where the, the rough neck of the woods is from. And if so, I'm really excited for that. We, we haven't got a lot of good maps that are based in the north of England. I mean, this is based in Birmingham, isn't it, pretty much? There's a couple of other little tidbits from uh, little nods to various areas around the country. My favourite's the bit where it's like we're going through York. I love it. I love it. Um, but yeah, this is kind of more of a nod towards the West Midlands. I, I guess when you're driving through this bit, you could be anywhere in the UK, couldn't you? But yeah, I definitely get a, a West Midlands feel. This. I can just hear Alice and Ammon sat three rows back, just yakking on. But, um, yeah, some, some great maps based in the north of England. I'd, I'd love a few more um, that really have that great attention to detail that you get from this map. That'd be brilliant, wouldn't it? Maybe like a little network map, a couple of routes like West Country where they're about 30 minutes, 40 minutes in length, so you can do a couple of round trips. I'd love a map. I mean, we're just brainstorming now. This is just my mind running away with me. I'd love a map like with a central bus station and routes kind of spidering out. You know, plenty of routes, maybe about half an hour in length, 20 minutes, half an hour, that you can just bounce back and forward. Nice, lot of attention to detail like we've got here. You know, that'd be ace, wouldn't it? Problem is with Arcala, and don't get me wrong, I love it. But if you want to do a round trip, you have to set quite a sizable portion of your day aside to do that. You know, because it's what, an hour and ten, an hour and fifteen? It's not an hour and twenty, is it? I don't know. What's happened? Has somebody opened a window? I've just heard a window open. Oh, not that one. Somebody has opened. The windows have opened. Look at that. So I've got the. That's brilliant. Please tell me that is a feature and not just an accident. Is that is, you're going to tell me that all omnibuses do this, are you? But I've had the heating on. It's now 24 degrees. It got to 25 degrees. The passengers have opened the windows themselves. Please tell me that you're going to be like, yeah, did you not know that, Joe? Every omnibus ever does that. Uh, and the answer is no, I did not know if that is the case. The Omsi passengers have opened the window. Master Switch, if you have put that in this bus, that is ace. That's absolutely ace. I'm not going to lie, it did make me jump a little bit, because I've got, obviously got my headphones on. So it was quite loud when it went bang and the window flew open. I wonder what had happened. I thought we were being raided. But, oh, that is... Uh, that flipping made me jump. Maybe I just need to turn my headphones down a little bit. But yeah, if uh, that is absolutely incredible. I'm sure you're all wetting yourself like, yeah, I can't believe you didn't know that, Joe. But uh, no, I didn't. Right, hang on. So we've got a, a B8 parked here. Um, right, okay. If we could just squeeze round... Oh, can, can we squeeze through, please? Oh, yeah, I've hit my wing mirror on him. Never mind. Yeah, he had to put this check departure time in here uh, because I kept cocking it up. Oh, hang on, we're on the curb. Down we go. Lovely. Now, what time are we due out? How come we've got no air left? Right, Chester Stanmore. Where are we? Uh, b -b 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 Madeline Road, we've been there. Chester Stanmore layover, we're due out at 10.39. It's now 10.32, so uh, we are a little bit early. Let's just fling that forward in terms of time. That'll do. Have we got anybody coming for the bus? Nope. Okay, right, well, we're off. I imagine that those people down there are coming for this bus. Of course, if I was waiting my time, uh, I'd have just waited behind that Oracle bus because, of course, he was leaving first, hence why when I've skipped the time ahead, he's not waiting behind me anymore. Uh, but obviously, as I was going to cheat and skip ahead on the time anyway, then uh, then it doesn't really matter. That's why I don't stress so much about being late at those other stops, um, because I know that you're going to have a great big chunk. What on earth's happening over there? No, oh, he's corrected himself. If you go back in that video, you'll see he was at an angle of about 45 degrees. 
He was, I promise. I'm not going insane. So we've got Oxen Daunt the left and Oxen Dun to the right. <laughs> yeah, how many people have gone the wrong way there then? Just read the wrong one. This bus really is absolutely brilliant. I'm so excited. I saw a little screenshot and I mean it was an old screenshot, don't get me wrong. It wasn't new by any stretch of the imagination, but uh, yeah, I saw a screenshot of the Veiling 1, uh, which will be released under the Veiling Classics brand in the Barbie livery. And do you know what? If it is as absolutely brilliant to drive as this is, then uh, are you getting on, sir? Nope, I think you're waiting for a 63, aren't you? Okay. Yeah, if it's as absolutely brilliant to drive as this thing is, then uh, yeah, we're, we're in for a good time with it. I, we really are. Oh, there's so many great packs that are going to be released. That, I mean, like, this is now my kind of era of buses. Like, the Eclipse 2 is perhaps as new a bus as I like. But yeah, the Eclipse Urbans, the Renowns. The, oh, it's going to be absolutely fantastic. The Geminis. This is, like, the real deal for me. This is fantastic. Right, 250. Right, off we go. We'll pull out so we don't hit his wing mirror. And of course, we don't go forwards anymore. I think a couple of videos we've not gone forwards. We turn right here, which I much prefer doing this. I always felt that little windy bit through the countryside and under that bridge just kind of felt a bit disjointed and out of place. And it was like he got two areas of map, like the countryside village and the suburban area. And he just didn't know how to join them together. But this is perfect. It's so understated that you don't actually really realise the transition between countryside village and suburban town, you know, so this is absolute, oh, that's curb, that's very much curb, yeah, we're going to have no tyres left, yeah, we, we popped out here, if you remember, and turned right, but yeah, it just kind of felt like this really odd bit to the map but yeah, like I say you don't realise that you're changing, really that transition isn't a definite, like because I think where he was going wrong was that there was Countryside Village and then it ended abruptly and there was this random bit of nothingness in a valley. Like a really tight bit of nothingness. And then you popped out and all of a sudden you were in suburbia. Whereas this is obviously not like that. You know, you just kind of fade and it's a gradual blend into the next area. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Round we go. I don't mind dishing out little Joe criticisms, normally because um, most of the time I get told my opinion is wrong. Because uh, normally it's because I've done something wrong. <laughs> I've, I've not read the read me. I said, oh, this is garbage. It shouldn't be like this. And they're like, yeah, Joe, if you just read the read me, it wouldn't be like that. I'm like, oops, sorry. Uh, like, There's no scenery here. That's because you've not installed the scenery we told you you needed to have installed. Ooh, I don't know if we're getting round here. Oh, of course we are. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd like to think that I gave a fairly balanced uh, view on things. You know, I'd like to think that we can handle a little bit of criticism. All the best map makers, uh, or all the best product makers in general, take on criticism, don't they? I, mean, I don't have many for our fully. To be fair to him, he's, he's done a damn good job with this. He's probably watching with a big smug grin on his face. I need to find a way to break his map. That'll wipe the grin off your face, love. Oh dear. Problem is, is um, he's currently away as our fully. Uh, he has a job where he has to go away. For long periods of time. I think he works on an oil rig, personally. Um, he's told me he doesn't work on an oil rig, but I think he's lying. Um, that's why he goes away for so long. I mean, what else could he do other than working on an oil rig where you go away for so long? 
Okay, don't give me that. I'm, I'm trying to trying to do a thing here. Um, but yeah, so uh, the development of the map is quite slow at the moment, which is why I thought I'd just do a little video on Arcala today to just remind you all it's still here. It's waiting in the wings, ready to pounce onto the Steam store. Um, but yeah, it means he goes away for a long period of time. So I'm sat here absolutely chomping at the bit, wanting a new section of map, wanting updates, wanting... I'm just absolutely, I'm like a vampire, wanting more and more and more, waiting to get my teeth into a new section of Arcala. And uh, unfortunately, we could be waiting a while, you know. Oh, sad face. Yeah, I'm sure you all agree, like, we, we really can't wait for the next bits of this map. But as a content creator, that must be quite nice to see, you know, that people are absolutely loving your product. You know, I realise this is not released yet, I realise it's a beta, but the fact that people are absolutely loving your product and can't wait for the next instalment. I imagine that's how JK Rowling felt when she was writing the Harry Potters. You know, people just couldn't wait for the next bit. Right, where are we going? We're going straight on. Of course we go, uh, we turn round up the, up the watch and we call it, don't we? The turny roundy place. The junction, I believe it's called. No, no, we don't. We go to Cheshire Road. Okay. Give our, uh, our colleague a wave there. Oh, yeah, we've... Right, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to stop there. I'm going to turn the... Turn the whatchamacallit, the directionals, off. Because I reckon that I can do this now. I mean, they're your famous last words, aren't they? Flipping egg. Alright, I think, yeah, next stop is the junction. So we need to make a right turn here. Yeah, junction's just here. Lovely, lovely stuff. So this actually takes on the 64. Oh, hang on, yeah, uh, nine pound day rider. Pound back my day, yeah, lovely. Right, let's have a look on the uh, on the old timetable, so. Um, because if I am timing these, then uh, then we need to see. Because obviously there's turny rounded bits, isn't there? So, um, right, hang on. So if we leave at 10.04, we actually get to the junction at 47. So it's 43 minutes from Pendle Station on the 64. I'd like to think he's timed it so it's 43 minutes on the 63 as well. 43 HST, that's how we'll remember that. Because obviously you want your, your short turnaround services to depart, like say they're every hour on the 64 or the 63. You want these ones to depart so that it's like an every 20 minute frequency bang on, don't you, going towards town. 43 minutes. We'll have to drive the 63 now and, and check to see. And all of a sudden, I don't know where I'm going. I think we go left here. No, straight on. Right, do you know what? I'm leaving these directional arrows on because we'd have already gone wrong. Nine pound, lovely, thank you. Yeah, I know what he wants is um, a really, really realistic, um, like, every 10 minutes. So uh, it'll be a 63 on the hour, a 64 at 10 past, a 63 at 20 past. Do you know what I mean? So the alternate, so each route, like, all the way through to Pendle is every 20 minutes. Um, and then they alternate to make an every 10 minute frequency between uh, Arcala and Pendle. The problem is, though, is that he also wants... Like lots of the little short routes hopping up and down. And I just don't know how you're going to do that. I really don't know how it's going to work. In terms of the timetabling, um, it nearly broke my brain trying to implement that. 
so I don't know how he's going to do it. Personally, I think he'd be a lot better of not having the short trips in the daytime. You know, in the daytime, just having every 10 minutes on the 63s. And then just having the short trips for like night time and maybe weekends. I think that would be a better way of doing it. But obviously, uh, obviously that would need reviewing with his lordship. Right, I think we need to be in the right hand lane. So we need to turn right down here at some stage. Heck, there's been an apocalypse on the left here. Oh, there we go. Bit of uh, bit of cities loaded in now. Oh, hang on. I'll just nip into this bus stop here. Forgot there was another one before our uh, our right turn. Ooh, we're on the curb. That'll do. Good morning, ladies. You want a £4.50 return. Lovely. Thank you. And the same for you, my love. Oh, there we go. Now, I can never remember which lane we have to be in. I would plump for the right-hand lane usually, but I don't know if it's one of those deals where both lanes just merge into one by the looks of things. Whoa, hang on. Oh yeah, that's uh, the definition of being brake checked, isn't it? Just pull in front and slam on. It's not very kind. I hope we can drive that Route 22 because I'm not being funny. That blue and gold looks absolutely incredible on that bus, that B8 that's just gone across there. Uh, I know that that livery is also available for the B7 that I'm currently driving and it, ju it just suits it. The guys that come up with these liveries as well, this is another thing. We give Fully so much credit for his map, and I mean, it's a great map. But the people that come up with the liveries for this, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I think that the liveries are done by Macaulay and Miles. I think. I could be wrong there, so if uh, I have missed you off and it is your livery, then uh, I would like to humbly apologise. I'm sure this is different from when we last came here. here, yep. Yeah. Brilliant. Oh no, it's not different, I don't think. Maybe it is. Uh, no, I don't think it is. Brilliant. Um, yeah, uh, so again, apologies if I missed... Uh, you know, if you've made deliveries as well, if you've contributed and I've missed you off. But yeah, I believe it's Mr. McCauley and Mr. Miles that have made these liveries. Um, they're, they're just absolutely stunning. And where they get their creative juices from for uh, for these liveries, I don't know. Because when I try and come up with liveries, like, I, I don't know, maybe I'm just not a very creative person. Maybe I'm not, you know, but it, it just really does. It boggles the mind, actually that companies like Ray Stenning's uh, Best Impressions are still like the go-to when you get, I mean look at this in front, look at this. If he doesn't, uh, is he t he's turning right isn't he? You know, we'll, we'll just have to pause for a second to have a look at this. You know, perhaps this has taken inspiration off real life routes, but why would everyone keep going to Best Impressions when, hang on, when you could pay, I mean look at that, that's a gorgeous livery. What's wrong with that? That's lovely. The 22 to Stoughton. Oh, that's going to Reese. Uh, Reese, 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 Reese. What's his last name? I cannot think for the life in me. It's going to Reese's map. <laughs> I said it earlier as well. I've completely forgotten. I'm sorry, Reese, if you're watching. I've completely forgotten your last name. But it's going to Reese's Stoughton map. But yeah, do you know what? I've made an absolute tit of myself there, so we're going to just carry on. Oh, dear me. Oh, I can hear an ambulance. Oh, no, is that behind me? I mean, you don't have to pull over for them. I mean, this is OMSI. They're not real people, are they? I, I just kind of feel a bit of an idiot for not doing so. See, this is what I prefer to the 63.
I like this little bit around the university. This is why I prefer the 64. Plus, this bit's all had a little bit of a revamp. I mean, we've, we've been here since then, so, you know, it won't be anything you've not seen in one of my videos. But since I started playing Arcala, this bit has had a little bit of a revamp. I can't believe that I don't know this route. I, it's because I've been mostly driving the 63s. I could do the 63 with no directional arrows, sort of. Ish. Nine pound. Thank you, dear. Right, there we go. Carrying on. Oh, and of course, with us using a single decker, we can just fly straight under this bit. Double deckers obviously have to go over the top there, over the level crossing. Very low bridge. Scream if you want to go faster. Wee! <laughs> Heck, we're not going to get through this gap. Flipping Nora. Oh, it's someone in a pink Range Rover, of course. Um, oh, yeah, we can easily get a bus through there. Idiot. I'm sorry we're late again, so there's no more kneeling. No more kneeling. There we go, that'll do. That's probably everyone. I didn't even check that someone got off. Oh, he's there. Sorry, love, did you want to... Well, you can't get off there, can you? Ah! Come on, wait for me, thank you. Sometimes, obviously, traffic just drives straight into you. I don't think, to say it's a bus sim, the uh, the AI traffic always appreciates quite how difficult it is turning round corners in big long vehicles like this. You'd think that they'd be a little bit more forgiving, wouldn't you? This is this bit. I love it. It's like this gorgeous little park by the river. It's just lovely, isn't it? That bridge. Well, it's not really a bridge, is it? It's a viaduct. But it's lovely. Everything about that is just wonderful. And I hope... I hope, I hope, I hope that that is based on a real-life place. I don't know. I mean, I know that the, um, the, the hospital is based on the Queen Elizabeth Hospital, Queen Mary Hospital. The, I can't remember which hospital it is in here. Is it, the, is it the Queen Mary on this? But the, uh, the hospital that looks like a toilet seat, or three toilet seats in Birmingham, I think it's Queen Elizabeth, isn't it? How have the lights gone back to red already? Right, there we go. Lights are on. Off we go, please. There we go. Right, is that better for you, sir? I know you refused to get off at the last stop. I hope the six is drivable. I quite like that livery on the uh, on the Gemini as well, or Street Deck. I don't know which one that is. It's uh, it's very difficult to tell the difference between the Gemini and the Street Deck. I mean, you can tell the difference between the B5 LH because it's only got half a half a wind uh, a windscreen, a window at the back. But the B5 TL is a little bit more difficult. Heck, he's absolutely just pulled out in front of that car. Oh, you're letting me go too. Very kind. Oh, doesn't it sound good? I love, um... I love driving from the passenger view. Nobody's getting off here, so we're just going to fly past you. Give him a little toot toot. That 22 livery again. Brilliant. Absolutely beautiful. 
I'm intrigued to see this Stoughton map, you know. I, I like the screenshots. I hope the routes are as nice to drive as um, as on this. You've got some stiff competition there, uh, Mr. Sterling, from this route, from this map. Oh, no, oh, gears have slipped. Hell, <laughs> engine's nearly leapt through the bonnet. So this is, of course, the Queen Mary Hospital. So, yeah, I think it's the Queen Elizabeth Hospital in real life. Is that it? Oh, we're 2.5 minutes late. That's no good. Oh, sorry. Although, whatever happened to please let buses pull out? I don't know. an ambulance again. Can I? Are they, are they looking? Maybe it's just ambient sounds that I can hear here. Come on. I've got a bus to run, love. I can't be waiting every, uh, can't be waiting all day. I don't think we stop here. Oh well. No, we don't. Oh, she's not getting off. That's why. Cause we, that might be why that guy didn't get off at that other bus stop. Because I don't think we stop there either. Never mind. Yeah, there's there's no little flashy thing above it, is it? go Gabriel Wade that's where you want to get off isn't it dear see a real passenger in real life would turn around and say oh no this isn't the stop I wanted it's the one after I mean to be fair a real bus driver would probably know where his bus is supposed to stop so you know but I guess we've all got to accept a little bit of responsibility don't we I can't believe we've been at this for an hour now doesn't time fly when you're enjoying yourself it really does I can't believe I'm late again. I can't, uh, I really do struggle with keeping to time on this. Of course, now we're back in uh, the area that very, uh, very, very much so resembles Birmingham because we've got the, the hospital back there. We've got the university station here coming up on our right. Well, it's, it's on our left at the minute, but it will be on our right when we've turned left. There we go. Clock tower from the university there on the left hand side. See, my other half actually went to university in Birmingham, so as I'm driving on this, it's like, heck, I recognise this. And that's quite nice. It's always nice when you see somewhere you recognise in a game. I don't think I've actually had that that kind of luxury in OMSI just yet. Except for, you know, Berlin, because obviously I go to Berlin quite a bit. I love Berlin. Uh, nine. Lovely. Again, yeah, lovely, thank you. 450, yeah. 10 pound, 550. Sterling! That's his last name! <laughs> Sorry, just, just literally came to me when I couldn't remember Reese Sterling's last name. It's just all, I don't know what it is about four pound 50 tickets, but it's just hit me. <laughs> Sorry, it was one of those moments I realised I'd probably blasted your eardrums out there But it just came to me And uh, it's one of those you just can't hold it in You have to yell it from the rooftops 
Sorry, I, that, that was quite... I, I scared myself there. I think forgetting his name has more or less just concreted, cemented the fact that there'll be there'll be no beta for Joe. But Joe, you forgot my name. Could never let you have a beta of my map. Could never. Ah, oh dear. Right, off we go again. See, this is the bit of Arcala that I find a little bit mundane. And I feel awful saying that because there's nothing wrong with it. It's great. It's just I don't particularly enjoy city driving in comparison to driving on a rural map, for instance. You know, so it feels like I say really, really mean saying that I don't enjoy this bit. And I, I don't not enjoy it, but I just, it's not my favourite part of the map. You know, everyone will have their favourite parts. I'm sure some people will enjoy the city driving. Some people won't drive the long routes at all because they won't like the countryside bit of it, will they? They'll, you know, they just want city driving. So you'll just drive the short routes all the time. You know, it's all personal preference. Um, um, so yeah, this I, I quite like this bit. It's when it starts getting to dual carriageways and things like that. It, it just loses my interest. One-way systems, no. Not interested. Oh, you're going right. Right, okay. Well, we'll, we'll just cut across then. Oh, or we will if Omzi doesn't throw a wobbly. I do quite like this bit with the bridge. I think, like, this view... Oh, there's a train going over as well. I think this view is just very... I don't know, what what's the word? How would you describe it? It's very... Like you could imagine this being as part of a city. I really hope that this is, again, based on somewhere real life. Um, it just... When you look down there, it, it just could look very real, you know? Wait, hang on. Sorry, Mr. Gemini. Or Street Deck. You could probably tell from the cab, but to be honest with you, I didn't really look. Hello, madam. £4.50, yeah, lovely. Thank you. Can't believe we're three minutes late. I don't know what it is, I just can't seem to keep to time today. Have I always struggled with keeping to time? Caring homes sign on the uh, wobbly sign suggests they are anything but caring. Oh, look, a Thames Link 700. It's an 8 car as well, is it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, yeah. Lovely. I do believe that that will actually feature some sort of Midlandsy style train at some point. I don't know what, but yeah, I believe it's going to be redone. I hate this corner. And you know what? I'm not going to be one of them people. I'm going to stop a little bit further down because the traffic comes... I think this line should just be here to give you a bit more room to swing when you come around the corner. But he flatly refuses to change it. I think because he knows I struggle. I think it's quite mean, personally. But, uh, yeah, just hate it because the traffic draws right up and you can't get your bus round. I think I've just run a red light there. There we go. We'll just... I know buses sometimes do that. We'll, uh, we'll just drop you off on the crossing, love. There we go. Oh, it does sound good, doesn't it? It sounds really good, this thing.
idea of me. See, I remember back in the day when this used to actually finish here, just around the corner. Nope. Thought we were getting a, uh, a yellow light then. There we go. This bus will have uh, got rid of all its air now that I've put the handbrake on and off twice. Oh, I'm sorry, love. Yeah, we. I was meant to stop there, but, you know, I was already in this lane and, you know... I wish there was something I could do, but it's out of my hands, unfortunately. Right, we carry on down here. Round to the right. Morgan Street, possibly. Is that what that is? The city centre does get quite a hammer in here. Oh, look at that. See, that's the livery I wanted for this bus. The 60s, look. There we go, lovely. Or the Connect. Beautiful livery. Beautiful livery. There's no denying it. I mean, if I was... Oh, we'll stop here, so I know we're meant to stop at the next one down, but you know. Oh, you're still going to that one, to be fair. Oh, are you going to miss the bus, sir? I've, uh, I've purposefully stopped here for you. Oh, well. Oh, it's not Morgan Street, it's Michigan Street, you idiot. Michigan Street Station. There we go, it's on the left there. I York. Oh, gears have slipped again. Hell. Can somebody go and pick up my engine from down the road. Lovely. Oh, that's a nice livery, isn't it? What's that? Oh, it's Green Line. Oh, it's an Air Lynx. I think that's another one that you might be able to drive in the actual finished product. That'd be ace, wouldn't it? Oh, there's still people getting on. Come on, Joe. Focus. Focus. Oh, there's a lot of people. A lot of people. This bus is quite cosy now. You, uh, you're making new friends on this bus today. Do you know what? We're going to do what they do at First York and just pull out like that. I know you're meant to go straight on there and, and out, but we're, we're doing a First York. We're absolutely going for it. Oh, it feels great driving a D7E Eclipse through, uh, through this section. It really does. Because obviously they have these buses with this interior. Oh, right, yeah, I realise you can't see the interior, but just take my word for it, it's a nice interior. Well, I say they have these buses, they don't, they have the uh, the Eclipse 1, but with a D7E engine, so, you know, when you're driving it from this perspective, they have the same cab and everything. Oh, I thought we'd lost Omzi. There we go. You had me worried there for a second. Flipping Omzi. We love to hate it, don't we, with how unreliable it is and how uh, unstable. It's no more unstable than uh, myself. There we go. Right, get that shut. I remember when I first drove this uh, this section of the route. Oh dear, yeah, the uh, the Russian flag on the wall there has aged well, hasn't it? Which reminds me, I've probably not driven Arcala this year. I've probably not. Ooh, that's that's scandalous, isn't it? Maybe I have. I don't know. I can't remember the last time I drove this map. You know, I really can't. I've driven it like in my own spare time, but I've not driven it on on, uh, on stream, on video, have I? I don't think I have. I don't know. I mean, we are in May, so there's plenty of time this year for me to have done so. Maybe that's why Fully stopped speaking to me. 
hope... Oh, hang on, there's a green light there. I was just keeping an eye on them. I think they've had a crash. Has that Enviro hit the uh, the Gemini? <laughs> For goodness sake. Right, let's have a, a little gander around there. Yeah, we can get out in front of them. Nobody getting off. Right, great stuff. Of course, we are on the final stretch now. The uh, the one-way systems round into town. I don't think we stop at these stops. Oh, engines back on the uh, back on the road back there. Oh, hang on. Oh, I think I've. Just turn me electrics off, for goodness sake. There we go, if we're just there, we're back on it. I'm gonna... Just a temporary blip. Nothing to see. Flipping heck, Joe. Come on, pay attention. I didn't know that was the electric button. I was trying to find, like, here, you've got this, this little menu. And I was wondering how you scroll through it. Because obviously it's not touch screen. And I thought that might be a flicky, flicky switch thing. Like a rocker switch that would... Oh, come on, let me in. I know I'm in the wrong lane, but... I'm actually not in the wrong lane. I have to go straight on here. Oh, I am, because there's a stop request. Right, okay. Okay, okay. Oh, that woman didn't want this bus. I thought she did. Oh, I'm sorry, we're late. I've committed. Oh, yeah, that's a blatant red light, Joe. Oh, I think Omsi might be losing it. Oh, no, it's a National Express West Midlands livery. I thought for a second we'd run out of memory. So all the buses were appearing black, you know, like they do. Oh, I like the West Midlands livery. I didn't know that that was appearing in here. That's what I enjoy about this. There's always some unexpected surprise. Yeah, I'm sorry, officer. We're just really, really late. I'd be getting absolutely no points on bus company simulator for this, would I? For all the uh, the amount of stops that I'm late at. This still reminds me of Leeds whenever I drive it. I guess it's just your generic city, isn't it, really? Out of city. I'd quite like to go that way. Just out of the city. Hell, it is out of the city, isn't it? Flipping egg. Literally, countryside straight ahead. Yeah, it's this bit that reminds me of Leeds, other than, of course, the tram. But coming in off the M621, there's a little section like this. I'm sure you'll know the bit I mean. How do you mean you don't? That's quite rude. Oh, dear. oh well, that is definitely the buses. Are, yeah, the buses are definitely going black now, look. Oi! Or maybe they're not. Are they? I think they are. They're gonna. It's going to turn green just as we get there. Or maybe not. What is it? Oh, it's an Oracle branded bus. Oh, dear me. Right, well, do you know what? We are going to leave it there for today because that is the terminus on this route. Oh, hang on. There we go. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you have enjoyed it. It's certainly been nice to have another run through our Carla. Obviously, 
nothing's changed, but it's still a great route, and I hope you enjoyed coming along for the ride. If you did, please do show your love and appreciation by clicking the like button on the video, and if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. I'd like to think that when there's an update, Mr. Fully will send me it, so, uh, you know, you want to hear it here first, folks. So yeah, do subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future OMSI content. Other than that, as I say, thank you so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.